Africa, known to many different people in many different ways. Concerning the hunting done here, these differences seem to be amplified. Unfortunately so, as all the good coming from conservation through utilization has helped protect this great continent's inhabitants for generations. The deep understanding and care for every species by such ranches as Bajan Game Concessions goes without question as a major impact to the success of thriving populations and keeping poachers at bay. It is our responsibility, the ones that own land, to protect the existence of species. And a big part of that is the hunting industry. We, hunting will always be part of saving animals, I believe. Um, if I can state that more clearly, it is utilization of a certain species that secures its existence. Conservation through utilization. That makes sure that my kids and generations to come can still see these beautiful animals that we have. Conservation through utilization is all about the proper management of the herd. Landowners and PHs like Philip and his brothers Grayling and Hendrick have a deep understanding of the animal population here, along with the carry capacity for given territories regarding individual species. This is how hunts are selected as an option for a given area then sold to sports men and women alike from all over the world, further enriching local African villages' economies because of those hunters traveling here, which in truth need it the most. Bijan has a strong population of Niala, so Stephanie had the chance to hunt one while in South Africa on safari. Her PH Grayling has set her in a bush line in an attempt to harvest a good male Niala they've been stalking all morning. So much. White tips. I know, I'm so excited. Africa. I love it. Yeah. Really cool. This has been a great day. Yeah, Thank you've you, been doing good today. Thank <laughs> you. You've done good today. Oh, sweet. As in any sport, certain achievements warrant titles to show recognition of notable accomplishments. In Africa, one known as the Springbok Slam is awarded when one of each white, black, common, and copper springbok are harvested. Stephanie, Lacey, and Race each set out to accomplish this task while on safari with Bajan Game Reserve. The ranch's efforts have created a bountiful herd that needs to be hunted in order to keep the population numbers healthy. After two weeks of hunting, the girls have been successful in accomplishing their slam. They're just beautiful. He's been just chasing does and chasing little bucks. What a ram! Look at this! But Stephanie's son Race has yet to fill his tag on all four types. A white springbok remains. Time is coming to an end, and the flight home is only one day away. It's our last day in Africa. Everyone else has gotten their springbok slam already, except me. I was told that this would be a two day hunt to get the springbok slam. But due to my poor shooting ability, it is the very last day in Africa, and I have to get a white spring bug, or I will not have the spring bug slam. With 
proper management, Springbok herds remain bountiful, yet still provide a challenging hunt when attempting to spot and stock. Bajan, P.H. Hendrick and Race have just positioned themselves in front of an oncoming group of Springbok, hoping he can fill his final tag on the last day of his safari. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. Whew. It took every bit of what, 14 days? Goodness gracious. <sighs> That's it. It's all over. Let's do it. It's the elusive white spring buck. <laughs> Believe, I'm more relieved than anything. If I had to go home without without a white one because I missed three times, I surely would have been disappointed. But we got the job done today. 